Hello and welcome back to part 13 of my Total War Warhammer 2 Let's Play with Réponse de Lyon. Now, I, now Luther Harkon is down there, so let's bring Réponse down there to attack him. And let's call upon the Green Knight to see where he shows up. I, I, I know that he will show up right here where uh, Réponse is. Yeah. There he is. The whole lot of secrets and keep of the ways. This was strength is this quester's ultimate test. Gilles Le Breton, the first king of Bretonia. Now, what could we get rid of in exchange for him? Let's get rid of uh, these quest, these uh, Grail knights. The, I mean, these uh, knights, uh, these Grail knights, these Grail guardians. Let's get rid of one Grail knight and replace him with the companions of Quenelles. Which are actually, which are, um, even though it says here that they are questing knights in the story parts of. Yeah, look, there he is. People that are part of the campaigns of. People that are part of the campaigns of Quenelles are actually. Um, they're actually uh, Grail knights, some of them. Tyrion doesn't want to. Tyrion doesn't want an alliance. I am Teclis, High Law Master of the White. Teclis doesn't want an alliance. We can trade with him. Okay, yeah, we can trade with them and we could have an alliance, but I don't want to. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Oh, okay, yeah, that's. Oh, he has a wood. He has a forest dragon and. A great eagle. Go with him. This is a cooler drawing than than the high elf version of the drawing. <coughs> but uh, yeah, he ha didn't know he had a force dragon with him. This is the guy that I saw here, and I said, I, if I ignore him, I, that I hope if I ignore him, he'll just, he'll just go away. Apparently, he did go away. Good. I hope he stays. He's there and does something. Think that he can destroy the he can destroy the lizardman as long as he doesn't attack me. I'll I'm I'll be happy as long as he doesn't attack me. <laughs> We're going to attack Nagoron soon, but first we have to kick uh, Luther Harkon out of our city. The Hans Marshall Expedition is doing quite nicely. Okay, yeah. He did declare war on the last defenders. Uh, a tribute. Uh, yeah. I think he might destroy this place. Oh, he will destroy this place. Yeah, he just sacked he just sacked it, so he might raise it next turn, and if he does, we'll just attack him and then resettle it ourselves. Let's bring Réponse over to here, With purpose. so we can attack him. Yeah, those guys are pretty scary, but Réponse's army is pretty powerful. Henri Le Massif already has everything that makes him better at fighting, so maybe give him assault units. Yeah, he can assault their units right now. To the enemy. And he failed. Devotee of the lady. I was not expecting Henri Le Massif to fail that badly. Let's bring him over to here. My reputation precedes me. Bring him over to Gopher. He's almost a Grail Knight, right? Yeah, he's about to complete the Grail Vow. Maybe I could bring him over to here so he can fight those pirates. Or up to that one there so he can fight some vampire pirates. Yeah, if he goes up there and fights them, that should probably be enough for him to complete his quest. No, we don't want to improve our brothels. We want to improve our... Oh, okay, yeah, I'd like to destroy both those things and replace them with income. No, we like to improve those ports. And here? Yeah, we'd like to improve our farm. 
What are we currently researching? Water pumps. Okay, yeah. Extra income from farms, which is pretty much our main income source. <laughs> We're gonna use them. And there's a storm. Servants of Nagaroth. We are not going to make peace with uh, Malus Darkblade, we're going to invade Nagaron soon. Okay, has anything... It has not yet been raised. Uh, no, but he did take over a different region. Do you know who I am? I think this might be able to take care of a forest dragon. We don't have much fire damage in this army, but we have a few anti-large units. We have the Flying Lances and the Feathered Knights, a bunch of Foot Squires. Leaving. Let's uh, go up here. Will you. Oh, the Black Spiders. Okay, yeah, I'd like to not fight these guys. Yeah, this army... Yeah, if we... If we had more fire arrows, we'd be very good at taking these guys out because they have a fire weakness. I think so does the... No, the Force Dragon doesn't. The effect of Force Dragon has the 20% physical resistance. Sorceress. Has this guy recovered? Let's send him up there. He has to do his final... No fight. And let's send her... Up to Nagarond. So first to the male. So let's take her to the Gal's graveyard, and from the Gal's graveyard to the maelstrom. Okay, he's recruited a few more units. Paladin of Bretonia. We'd like to have favorable winds. Good. It's gonna help her get there faster. They have no military presence. That's good. Okay, if those guys are clear war on us, we have to es we have to pretty much try and escape. But I think we have more movement than they ha have, so it would not be difficult to escape. Okay, let's declare war on Luther Harkon because I don't appreciate him trespassing through our lands, and since everyone we care about is already at war with him, anywho, we might as well. Okay, the odds are even. He has four Death Shrieker Terrorgeists. Luther Harkon is the guy who is bipolar and has multiple di personality disorder, isn't he? He's also a vampire. And Nehakarn, by the way. He, he's... Oh! I just noticed! He... I think I know what it's doing here. I think he got... I think he misses his home. Um, I mean, it's been over a thousand years since he last been to Nehakar, right? <laughs> well, time to show him that we don't appreciate undead in Nehakara anymore. Okay, we want these guys here. Pegasus Knight's there. Want them here with... With Henri Le Massif leading the charge. As always. Bring him over here. We want Réponse leading the... Random Knight charge. Okay, we have the we have we have Grail Knights here, the companions of Cornells, which are all which are actually Grail Knights in the lore, not as I said before, not questing knights, and then Grail Guardians, and we will have the second group of and we will have the second group of knights being led by Gilles Le Breton. Yeah, they're gonna go. They're gonna be led by him. And these guys are going to come around from the side. For the lady. Ready for battle. 
That should be good. So group one. Find the skies. Group two, help them. You guys help them out. Okay, group two says up. And have him charge in. Have him shoot them. And uh, group two. There. Okay, the massive. Charge in a little bit faster and take care of those Death Shrieker Terror guys. He should be able to take care of them without any problems. The Death Shrieker Terror guys are attacking. Go, Gilles! Go, Gilles, Le Breton! Grail Knights help him out. Okay, we need to take out uh, Luther Harkon. There he is. Okay, they should not be fighting anti-large units. Ah, good. Gilles is going to fight the monster. Gilles, fight that monster. Is she fighting Luther Harkon? Not exactly. Pains of Canalia. I kind of forgot about our damsel there for a minute. Father King! Knights of Bretonia! Battle ready! I honor my vow! Okay, have him attack the monster. I am with you. Where is Réponse? No Réponse, attack him. Come on, attack him. Okay, those girl knights should get out of there, please. That would be good if they got out of there. My lady brought me your sight. Right away. Okay, Henri. Réponse. Okay, weaken everyone. We are ready. Immediately. Companions of Penel. Let's go charge in. Take care of them. Give the order. How is Jill's doing? Come on, Jill's. You gotta kill that monster. Come on, you were a well known dragon slayer in life. You can do better. Companions of Cornell. Oh, I forgot about you guys. Get them, and we win. Yeah, <laughs> we had really powerful heroes this time. We had some really powerful heroes this time. There we go. That wasn't that difficult. Okay, yeah, we win. In the name of the lady for justice. And uh, we should probably go try and claim the awakening, if we can. And it could have something good for us. The Leonet. So let's replenish a bit faster. Yeah, let's stay here for a while to replenish. Let's give her a devastating charge. Let's give her scouting, because we need magic weapons. My reputation. And we're going to go fight the tree guys later. Okay, yeah, improve the port. This would improve our replenishment right here a little bit. Lord of 
called Bortonia. And then we're going to recruit a few units here. And continue our invasion of Nagarond through here. We should also probably try and resettle this place. Okay, we have nothing left to build, right? Oh, yes, we do. Ooh, this would help. We will end our turn. Teclos is doing fine. The order of lower masters and our and our trade agreement has been dissolved. I don't know how or why. Tickles must have lost some territory somewhere. Oh yeah, the blessed dread stole his capital. Hmm, that's that's a problem. He lost his capital, so we lose a little bit of income. Dark sorceress. You require assistance. They don't like us too much for some reason anymore. Probably because we're getting more powerful than they are. Doesn't matter. Okay, bring these guys over there. We're gonna give this army an upgrade, so... Get that, so we can get some Grail Knights in here. I don't care if any of these units get wiped out. Okay, good. That's the Val completed. That's a lot of money. Bring him back. Repons will replenish for one more turn and then she'll claim the Awakening. As we are going towards Nagarond already with our armies. We need to get to 2,000 before we can actually start the final entry battle. I think. Mm, yeah. We also have to go fight the Blue Vipers, so the game says. We want our growth to be improved. Okay, they're starting to recruit new units. We can't allow that. Plus, would be more diamonds. I don't need help from anyone for this fight. It is auto-resolvable. I really like the appearance of forest dragons, but we don't need to fight it ourselves. We only have the option of occupy. Literally nothing else. My strength and wisdom are yours. And we start off with the diamonds immediately, which is good. I'm special. And we're going to stop these guys before they become a real threat to anyone. Oh, the Lord bone of Orion. Neat. And now we have infinite amounts of the green knight. She levels up. Curse of the Midnight Wind. Ska the Veteran, I guess. We can give him uh, um, Devastating Charge as well. We improve our, inc we improve our income. And we're going to go take the Awakening, and instead of fighting Nagarond, well, we're going to go fight Nagarond, but let's help Teclas in his fight against the uh, Dark Elves. So we can help both Tyrion and Teclas. So we're, so we're going to send these, so we're going to send her up here to fight against Nagarond. And Réponse is going to go on her mini crusade against the... Uh, Against the Blessed Dread. These guys are also gonna go fight the Dark Elves, so let's recruit two foot two foot squires, one 
None of those guys. Eh. No, two foot squares and two oh, battle pilgrims. That should be good. Devoted, spend many times in a place of chapel. That's plus 10 chivalry, plus 3 untainted, and, and, and 5 leadership. That's good for us. Attack! Let's get rid of these guys. Metonia. I sure hope those guys don't contribute too much to balance the power. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Okay, they run away from us. Stop that. Lord and hero. Let's if the lady wills it. cut them off. I go thither. Hopefully they choose to attack us. This place will be increasing on level soon. Three turns. Okay, points will be fully replenished next turn, but let's advance already. For Let's go to the Awakening and then claim, and then fight these Dark Elves before they, yeah, because they're because they're trying to kick Tekkles out, and I'd like to have my trade partner back. Ready. We can give him more assault units. Plus, we can fight the, uh, yeah, these Dark Elf pirates. That would be fun. Improve that for more replenishment. Because Sartosa has to be our replenishment place. Yeah, we're gonna take some attrition. What are we taking attrition from? Deep ocean? Deep sea's attrition? Yeah, deep sea's attrition. Okay, so we're gonna replenish in here for a while. Yes. He's also gonna replenish here for a while and then make his way up to Nagarond. But let's change some of these guys out for Corel Knights. Okay, let's get two foot squares. Let's get let's merge all the foot squares. Guardian. Get rid of these guys. Armored in faith. And replace them with Grail Knights. There we go, that's a good army. Send it to Nagarond. Oh, uh, forget it. We get to fight Nagarond as well because we're because it's all Nagarond now, so we can still invade Nagarond by going into Lustria, huh? Okay, yeah. have they attacked us? No. Lord, I will indulge you. Improve that. Very well, I go. Improve that. What's this thing? Yes, it does. It will provide additional benefits. It's those benefits being money. Valiant Lord. Nope. I do not want to fight all those spider riders and a Ragnarok spider. Noble. Make your way up there. Well, if you insist. Push on speed. Up there. We have met before. Have to replenish for a few turns here. I have seen your heart. Okay, would take forever for her to replenish there. Yes. So we'll be ready next turn. Glowfindel's progeny. Your behest. Okay, yeah, there'll be no replenishment for her. Just try and go to Nagarond. I think Tyrion might confederate tackles very soon.
Is Mogan ready? Mogan is ready to leave. Ah, okay, yeah. The scaling did recover, so he's gonna go get rid of them forever. That was his job. <laughs> Let's claim the awakening, so we have a good place to to continue our invasion again. And Snagaron's operations in Lustria. Because if we wanted to get the domination victory, we'd have to get rid of them anyway, so... Okay, they're, bu they're building up their new army there. I await. To the waves. But I'm pretty sure they... oh god. No. It's already almost a... By it's already almost a full stack. And we are right next to... These guys might declare war on us over the end turn and we'd need to fight this without any casualties. Continue making our way to, to Nagarond. Oh, we have Monsieur's Island. Those who escaped... Yeah, that would have been useful. Yeah, that would have been very useful a few seconds ago when we were able to actually replenish. Nah, it would take far too long to get there now. Should have probably gone with the battle one. Continue making your way up there. Let's send, let's send him to Sudenburg, so... Okay. Okay, here's some money so you forgive me for trespassing. Let's get some money. Because I'm going to be trespassing a lot. Okay, yeah. He's also going to go to Nagarond. I mean, Lustria. Because we can actually occupy some of these regions and gold mines. Yeah, this would be very profitable for us. <laughs> okay, he's done, so... Okay, yeah, because there's a storm there. Let's try and get this guy without any attrition, so... Through... Through Ulfwan's coast up to Nagarond. End our turn. And see what happens. Yes, they did declare war on us. Yeah, they declared war on us and are blockading us. Oh, we do not need to fight it, actually. It's an easy auto-resolve. Yeah, no one that matters took any damage, so... Okay, the, uh, the army's up there. Okay, yeah, we could try and climb these walls. I think the Green Knight will stay with us for a few more turns. And I think they'll always I think they they almost always sell the out to you, I think. These guys. Send him up send him down here to go attack. Yes. No, I don't want you to go not there, go. Even if it's a longer way around, you have to try and avoid the storm. As long as there's no enemy army here, we can survive. We just need to... It's minus 15% replenishment, but... If we claim this region, we can build up some things to replenish. They have a military presence of 5. Nearby. It can either be here... It can be in any of these locations, or it could be here. Guess we'll find out. 
Okay, we want to prove that because this is primary income. More income. I mean, more replenishment. Okay, the Tyrion owns the Sword of Cain location. Teclas is getting pushed back, so he will be con so he will be confederated eventually. She levels up, uh, scouting, and uh, give uh, Repons some more points into Glofinil's oh, progeny. Because it improves the weapon strength and charge bonus of our cavalry. We want to improve that. I know brothels give us 50 gold, but it's not worth it. Not, those, not for the cost of any chivalry. We still need 400 chivalry in order to win the game. <laughs> okay, yeah, they move forward. Are they gonna sell it out to us? No, they decided to not sell out to us just yet. So I guess we're gonna. So I guess we're going to wait until we. Okay, she had a critical failure trying to sell our units. Oh, Bray hurts. So in one turn we'll attack. So we might. So we'll attack next turn so that we have. Some, so we can put some of our units on the walls. Because as soon as our units, because as soon as we break through the gates, it shouldn't be a problem. Have heart. Huh. The sound that makes it really funny, the Beast Men! Ra Roar! That's... Okay, where are they? This will fail. Okay, they actually have a full no. stack right there. I go hence. You waste my time. Your coming was foretold. The lady protects me. I was not expecting him to have a full stack right there. That would be really tough to fight. What is this foolish? It doesn't seem like the strongest full stack, but mine isn't in the best of shape at the moment, so. Honor before glory. There's a storm here now. Let's avoid it. <laughs> And find some place safe for my guys to land. Moving out. We want to get to that gold mine there in, in Chupayotl. Interesting sea location, doesn't matter. All that matters is that I get to that place. More income. This place will level up soon. He levels up. Devastating charge. Oh, Hila Massif levels up again. Assault units because there's nothing else to give him. Other than, other than the brothels, there's nothing to upgrade, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're probably gonna get attacked by Nagorand. Okay, we got attacked, but their army is nowhere near as dangerous as I first thought it was. We're gonna have to try and fight it. So, Dark Shards don't... These guys are a concern. They're very powerful. Well, our artillery is better than theirs, I think. Yeah, it has far more range. They have a lot of manticores, but feral manticores aren't the strongest units, and they don't have anything that's really dedicated anti-large, except the bolt throwers. Whereas then I think we can deal with that, so... Let's fight some more Dark Elves! They're also one of Bretonia's enemies, if I recall. Like, certain, like during certain times of the year, they attack. Dark shards are dangerous. Hog and Neth executioners. Okay, we have just enough ma wins of magic that we do not need to gamble. That we do not need to gamble. 
We need to avoid the force at all costs. Okay, like that. Because uh, they have Rest a manticore. Here. Ready for orders. Swears. Group one. Infantry. Group two. Show us the fool. Okay, once somebody's guys hidden in the forest so that they can shout out. Okay, they can't hide in this forest, so let's just put them here. Knights of the realm. And put these guys here. From here. What we smashing? Okay, yeah. Their uh Hagen of Execution should be hit. <laughs> Let's try and get one of these guys over there so they can try and stop the bolt throwers from firing on us. Yeah, we need to try we need to try and put a stop to the bolt throwers. That's starting to hurt. Their bolt throwers are starting to get very painful. <laughs> is this a soul stealer? Yes, it is a soul taker. Oh, yeah. Slow things down. Where's our ma Where's our sorceress? Yeah, they're gonna disrupt our ma our so our infant our cavalry, not our cavalry, our okay. Use our anti-large cavalry to try ca take care of the those annoying uh, manticores. Okay, if we can. Okay, yeah, good. We are trying to take out those. Okay, yeah. Um, we need to watch out very carefully here. Those Hagen effects creatures need to bite the dust immediately. I would very much like it if those Hagen of Executioners stopped being alive. Them being alive is annoyance. <laughs> okay, let's put it back on normal speed for a few seconds. Oh my god, they just completely wiped out their battalion! Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, take care of that. Yeah, that was a great hit. It just annihilated them there. I mean, it only killed 13 of them. I mean, it only killed 13 enemies, but... Uh, there's some... It's not counting the kills somehow. Because she killed way more than that. 100%. She must have killed more than that. She must have 100% killed more than that. Yeah, that's a problem there. Okay, those guys are terror routed by the. Okay, yeah, those guys are quite annoying, but. Priestess of the Lady! Let's slow things down a bit again. Let's hope we can take care of those dark shots. 
most of our cavalry is almost dead. We should probably have them pull back. Can we uh, overcast it? No, we can't. But just a simple cast of this should take care of most of those guys. Those guys there are probably going to be a massive annoyance. Okay, we can't overcast any more spells. And we need to watch out. Okay, yeah, those guys. Take care of those dark shots. That also annihilated those guys completely. Those were just bleak swords, but still. Any damage is good. Any damage you take is good damage. Okay, let's see if these guys are... The problem is that those... Uh, those guys are very dangerous. The uh, We're about to lose. I think. <laughs> Yeah, we were not. We did not have the health to do it. I serve the lady. Withdraw, my lord. For the lady. I'm trying my best here. We have met the boss. Yeah, we're about to lose. Oh well, we tried our best. Yeah, we got wiped out, but I tried my best. The army was just not in any s state to take care of them. With haste. God help us. Ah, damn it. The problem was the... It was really the problem in the form of those, uh... Yeah, the Doomfire Warlocks. I hate Doomfire Warlocks. She killed quite a lot more than the game says here. Uh, yeah, I lose my army. God damn it. And she gets killed. <laughs> no, to me. No, I don't want peace with you, Miles Darkblade. Let's attack them again with a new army. Let's raise a new army here. Now this means that we start with the Knight's Vow, I think. Yeah, no, we start with the Questing Vow. Good, so we can have better units. Okay, and now all of our guys gets, can start at level 19. That's good. So do we have a profit that we can get? Okay, where is it? It's in Coffer, right? Yeah, Coffer. Let's start recruiting a new army. Virtue of heroism. My strength and wisdom are yours. He's almost immortal. In fact, he will be immortal next to, like, next level up. So, Blood Marcher. Let's give him. A bunch of those guys. <laughs> Some questing knights. Do you know who I am? Very well. But I am indeed extremely annoyed that I lost my army. A timely arrival. Lord. Next turn we'll attack them. Protector of the realm. I go thither. Let's bring this army over there. And prepare this new army to invade Nagarond. <laughs> you want them to have I wanted to have a paladin. Like that. I shall share my greatness. How? What level are the damsels? 
Okay, let's recruit one knowledgeable one. She's not gonna join the army. And let's recruit a better uh, determined immune psychology. No, we want a very fast one. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna get harmonic convergence, wind blast, chain lightning, coming to Passandora. Like that. Actually, Unicorn, Wind Blast. Yeah, that should help. My strength and wisdom are yours. And he'll be ready in a few turns to go to Nagarond. We only have two melee units, so why even bother trying to build another tower? And we have enough time for one last battle. May the lady guide you. It's quite annoying that we lost that army there, but... next, But the next army we send there will not suffer the same fate. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure we can attack this place with ease. Shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, I have pretty... I, this is a pretty good army. Okay, yeah, we will go from this side. Fight for Bertonia. Battle ready. Ready for battle. Paladin of Bretonia. Okay, these guys are all gonna charge the walls right away, so And we'll try and blast a hole in the wall. Pilgrims! Ready for battle! Attack! Have a feature of it. No, no, Tau. No, please try and blast a hole through Tribute you. Try and blast a hole through this wall. Heal up. Okay, on the walls, these guys should win. Henri Le Massif. Take care of the Necrofex Colossus, please. I seek glory. The wall will collapse soon. Okay, let's attack. We tried our best on that battle against the Dark Elves. There was just too many of them. The, and this, and he got them Doomfire Warlocks, my most hated unit in this game. Let me just step away from the battle a bit so you can hear me better. I mean, I really, really hate Doomfire Warlocks, okay? They're, they're super difficult to kill. They're almost immune to physical damage. It's just, there's absolutely no words that describe my hatred for Doomfire Warlocks. Well, no words other than, Rrrrg, I hate Doomfire Warlocks! Why don't they just burn in hell? Well, I want the person who designed them to be fired! Yeah, but words other than that... There are no other words than that to describe how much I hate Doomfire Warlocks. Come on, get through. Okay, Henri is still fighting the Necrofex. He's still fighting Necrofex. Come on, Rep come on, Réponse, get in there. Get in there. Grail Guardians are killing their Lord. That's good. Gilles should go in here and kill them. Okay, 
for you. Go take care of that. That's starting to get annoying. I'm starting to get annoyed at the sound of artillery. Where the Cabenza Canal? There's such blob fighting going on here. Come on, get get Jeels in there. Get Repons in there as well. Not, not you though, you stay here and fight. Combines of Canel. Hey, okay, yeah, you start firing to here. Do not let those missile infantry shoot you. Heal everyone up. Their lord is just completely overwhelmed. These guys have been wiped out. Charge in. I think we won. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Let's occupy the... The Awakening. Let's occupy the, the Awakening and see what we are doing. What do we get? Do we get any special build? Any special buildings? No, we only get the Occupied Awakening. It doesn't get the best of garrisons. It gets uh, one knight of the realm, one Pegasus knight, four foot squares, one paladin, three men at arms, and yeah, it's not all that good. But we can improve our income. So I hope you all enjoyed that episode. If you this episode, if you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more. We're going to continue our uh, our attack on Nagarond, avenge the person that died uh, and if you uh, died last turn. And and if you did, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and uh, farewell.